linear in equations. Equation. A statement which says that one thing is equal to another is called an equation. For example, x is equal to 5, 3x is equal to 7, 2x minus 5 is equal to 10, etc. In equation. A statement which says that one thing is not equal to another, that is, either greater or lesser is called an in equation. For example, x is less than 7, it is read as x is less than 7. x plus 1 is greater than 5. Replacement set or universal set. The set from which the values of the variable x is chosen is called the replacement set or universal set. Solution set or truth set. The set of elements of the universal set which satisfy the given statement is called solution set. For example, consider the in equation or the statement x greater than 6. Replacement set is equal to 2, 4, 8, 10. Solution set is equal to 8 and 10. If replacement set is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, the solution set is 7, 9, 11. Equations and their graphs. In the previous chapter, we have already learned to draw the graphs for linear equations in two variables and solve the simultaneous equations in two unknowns. We know that x is equal to k and k belongs to r is a straight line and is parallel to y-axis and yk and k belongs to r is a straight line graph and is parallel to x-axis. Observe the following straight line graph for x is equal to 3. Now in the graph this straight line separates the plane into two half planes and the line itself does not belong to any one of the half planes. For any point in the plane, the following three alternatives are possible. 1. It may be on the line. 2. In the half plane 1. 3. In the half plane 2. Line cuts. X axis at the point 3, 0. If we move towards the right of the line x is equal to 3, we find the x coordinate of the point in that region is increasing. Therefore, we can say that the half plane right side of the straight line x is equal to 3 consists the coordinates whose x coordinate is greater than 3. The points whose x coordinate is greater than 3 lies in the region towards the right of the straight line x is equal to 3. x greater than 3 denotes the region 1 which is shaded in the graph. If we move towards the left side of the straight line all the x coordinates of the points are less than 3. It is shown as the region which is not shaded. Location of origin relating to the various plane regions. The coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. To find out whether the origin lies in the region represented by the graph or not, we have to substitute the coordinates of the origin in the graph represented by it. The inequality thus arrived is true, then the origin lies in the ori region represented by the graph. If the inequality thus arrived is false, then the origin does not lie in the region represented by the graph. We have learned in the previous chapter that the straight line in the form y is equal to minus 2x, y is equal to 3x, etc. passes through the region. In the above equation, minus 2, 3, etc. are known as the slope of the straight line and it is generally represented by the letter m where m belongs to r. To find out the regions that are indicated by the equation of the form y is greater than less than mx, we take a convenient point which does not lie in the straight line and verify that the point lies in the half plane or not. If the point satisfies the in equation, we can say that the point lies in the half plane represented by the graph. Otherwise, the point does not lie in the half plane represented by the graph. System of inequations. Inequations are very useful in solving the problems pertaining to linear programming. To solve the problems containing linear program, we have to indicate the inequalities by graph and to find out many possible solutions and analyze them. Graphical methods help an easy approach in solving the problems. These are useful in industry, business management and defense.